Toccoa Falls in North Georgia is a popular tourist draw. We probably see 150 a day. Just a few miles from the falls is a place that is busy every day of the week. The Pittard Clinic provides medication-assisted treatment to people with opioid use disorder. The majority of those served by the clinic are uninsured. Patients pay for medication and counseling. They just say it's another thing that you get addicted to. Brenda is a patient. A lot of stuff messes my stomach up. She says people in the community don't like that the clinic is here. I think they think that if you are going to straighten up, then you need to <clears throat> not do anything. But I think those people are not in this position and they don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, life sometimes doesn't come the way you'd like for it to. Dr. Carl Smith retired from family practice to head up the clinic. At any one point in time, 60 to 65% of our population is what I consider to be stable. They take their medication, they take it properly, they don't have any illicit drug use, they are doing better with their physical health, they are employed. A lot of our patients are IV drug users and they share drug equipment. And so we see a lot of hepatitis C in this population. Untreated, hepatitis C can lead to liver disease, cirrhosis, and cancer. Imagine Hope, a company that works with healthcare providers, helped connect the clinic to a grant that would pay not only for testing, but for treatment for patients who tested positive for hepatitis C, a treatment that would normally cost $100,000 per patient. Once we treat them, it's a 12-week treatment, and then we wait 90 days and we retest them. And so far, with the patients that we have treated, we've had 100% uh, success. We started this program in March of 2015 with just five clinics. We're now screening in 31 clinics. Dr. Smith convinced Brenda to get tested for hep C. She was positive and she got treated. Well, I kind of feel like he saved my life, you know, because I don't think I would have done it otherwise.